Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I would like to make some interior daylight simulations using Enscape. We know that interior simulations are very similar to exterior ones, but there are a couple of tricks that I would like to show you in this video. I would first like to represent noon, which is a time of the day that the sun is very strong and white, the shadows are very sharp, and the image has a lot of contrast. We can also notice in this time of the day that there is always some kind of brightness that comes from the windows or any openings in the scene. So even in cases where the sunlight is not directly hitting the scene, we have this clarity that is generated by the openings and produces a very smooth shadow all around the interior space. So to start my lighting process, the first step here is to open Enscape. Okay, and in this exercise, I will use the side-by-side -side window layout. So I'll basically move this window to the right. Then I can choose my SketchUp viewport. And now I have my SketchUp model on the left and my render window on the right. And now I will move around my model till I find some interesting angle to try out my simulation. My suggestion actually before choosing the angle is to open the visual settings and here I can first of all change the style to white because this will help the lighting process as we can perceive better the light that will be producing colors in the scene. I would suggest as well to turn on the safe frame so we can now see the final render format. I can now close this window and I will basically try to find some interesting angle to try my simulations. Okay, I guess somewhere around here it's fine. Next, we have to start play around with the sun, a result that resembles this noon period that I would like to simulate. And we can notice that now the sun is not actually penetrating the scene. So I can change here in shadows some parameters if I would like to. So I'll try to change the time, the date, till I get an interesting result. I guess something around these parameters are actually fine. We have to remember that at noon, the sun is a little bit vertical, so it won't penetrate too much our scene. I will leave it this way. And now, if we would like to save this current angle and sun position, my suggestion would be to create some scenes. And we could do this directly in SketchUp, but it's always safer to do here in the Enscape window. So I will click the View Management button. And here I can click Create View. I will name it Noon. And if you by any chance are using the newest version of Enscape, you can actually change the sun's position using this new feature down here, which is actually much more efficient than doing this here. So we can also make a few changes to the sun here, but in my example, I am already happy with my result. So I will just leave it this way. And I will click here and create so that Enscape will save this position and lighting setup. So now if I change the angle or change the position of the sunlight, I can basically just click again in the scene that I've just created and it will take me take me back to the correct setup that I've chosen. Okay, so now we can close the view management and the next step would be to make small adjustments in the light so we have to open the visual settings. I'll click here above. And before making these adjustments, would be important to create a preset. So I will click here to expand this window and I will create a new preset clicking here and I will call it noon and I'll click this button. And from now on, all the adjustments that I will possibly do here will be saved in this preset. And this is a procedure that I would strongly advise to do. You can notice that when we created this new preset, 
the style was resetted to the default none style so you could actually change it once again to white but i will just leave it here as none because from now on it could be actually important to check already the effect of the light with the materials in the scene and i'll start to make some small adjustments here first of all i can increase a little bit the exposure so that the scene gets a little bit brighter somewhere around here I would also like to be able to see a little bit better the background so I will access the image area and I will decrease a little bit the highlights so the bright areas of the whole image will be a little bit darker somewhere around here. I think that's fine, I can already see much better the clouds outside. I would also like to increase a little bit the sharpness of the shadows so I will access the atmosphere area and I will increase this shadow sharpness value a little bit. Okay, I would also like to go back to this image tab and increase a little bit the bloom since it will consider all the highlights and apply a little bit of glare which is something that happens a lot in this kind of daytime simulation. And the last thing I would like to do here in the visual settings is to access the sky tab and change the background to something more interesting. So I'll click here in source and I'll try the forest background and maybe rotate it a little bit till I get some interesting background for my scene. Somewhere around here I guess it's fine and we don't see the horizon anymore. Okay. So after making this quick adjustments, we already have an interesting image and depending on your demand, this image could be already the final result and we could produce the final render. But we can notice that comparing to our references of daytime lighting simulations, there are some things that are missing. If I zoom in this lighting setup, one of the things that it's missing a lot is the brightness that we've mentioned that usually comes from the window and would produce some very soft shadows, especially here in this wall. And Enscape is not actually producing this. So one trick that I would like to show you is to actually position some kind of light behind the window that could generate this kind of soft shadows. There are a couple of lights here in Enscape that we could try. For for example the rectangle light or the spot but I usually create a sequence of linear lights positioned vertically very close to one another. We could create this kind of brightness now and it would work just fine but I normally use a group of lights that I always keep in my computer so that I don't have to create this kind of setting every time I need this type of light. So I will close these windows here also the visual settings and I will basically place this group of lights that I provided. So I will click here in file, import, I will browse my computer searching for these lights. It's important to change here to SketchUp files and here we go, area light. I will click in import and as I said before, we have to position this group of lights right behind any kind of opening. So I will position this light somewhere around here. I'll try to snap it to my window and after snapping, I will try to keep it a little bit away so that it doesn't touch the window but it covers the whole opening and we could do this in all the openings of the scene but I guess for this example this one here is already fine. I'll just move it a little bit closer. Okay. And now if I check my render, I will notice that we produce this brightness effect with some shadows that are being generated here in this wall, also here. We also can notice a very bright area all around our opening of the scene. So the result now is much more realistic. If we would like to compare before and after, we can access this tags tab and this group of lights that I've placed in the scene has the tag lights applied to it. 
so we can basically hide this tag and we get the former results and we can see that there are no shadows here and if we turn it on again we can clearly see how we have this very soft shadows which are very common in this kind of simulation and also when we turn on and off this light tag we can notice the details of the scene in a much better way. So if you take a look at the bed and all these details right here, when the light is off, you can check that we can barely see them, but when this area light is on, they can be seen in a much more clear way. And of course, after we place this area light, we can make adjustments. We could, for example, go back to the visual settings and once again, toggle the exposure. Maybe now we find the scene a little bit too bright, so we could decrease a little bit this value. So we can even notice even better these shadows. And it's very important to say that we can also change the lights themselves. So this is a group of lights and we can open this group by double clicking. Then we can double click once again. And if we open the Enscape Objects window, we can actually increase the power of these lights or decrease it till we get the results that we expect. But since I was already happy with the former result, I will basically just leave this as it was. So I will basically just set the original value. Okay, I'll close this window. Now I will hit the ask key to leave the group. And now if we are happy with the result, we can generate our known simulation. I will open my view management so that I can now return to my saved view. So I will basically click here in noon and I'll go back to the right angle. And here you can notice that it actually changed to the former visual settings setup. So one important thing that I have to do is to click here in my known view and I can change this linked visual preset to the one I created which is called noon and I can save this. So now whenever I click this noon view setup it will also load the visual settings which I saved with the same name. And now to actually render the final image I will just take a quick look at the visual settings called noon. I can increase my rendering quality. I can check here in output the final size of the image, which is full HD. And for this example is fine. We could also make other small adjustments, but I think I'm fine with this result. And I will basically close this window and click now here in screenshot. And I will save it as a JPEG image. And now, just after a few seconds, we have our final image. Okay, so I'm done with this first simulation. I will close my view management window. Lighting setup that I would like to create would be an image that resembles a sunset or a sunlight. And in this case, the aspects of the image are very different. So before actually trying out any kind of setup, it would be important to notice checking out some references that in sunset or sunrise, the sun is very different. It has a very warm color, sometimes orange, sometimes red, and it generates a very soft shadow. And normally it penetrates a lot the scene because it usually has a very horizontal direction. So the first thing that I could actually do would be to change the sun's position. We could use the same method that we did before and we could change here in shadows time and the date till we find an interesting sun position with the characteristics that I've just mentioned. But if we are using the latest version of Enscape, my suggestion would be now to try a different method and open here the view management once more and I can actually create a new view first of all that I can call sunset since I'm going to create a new visual preset I will not use the one that Enscape just chose so I'll click here okay and I will try this new feature which is actually a much more easier and efficient way of positioning the sun 
So we can here define the azimuth. That would be something like the sun's hive. And here we can basically rotate the sun around our scene. So I will play a little bit with these controllers till I have an interesting sun. And I actually like this kind of simulation with the sun facing the camera. So basically when I'm happy with this result, I can click here in create. And now we have another view stored here in Enscape's memory. And I can now go on and make other adjustments to help me define better this time of the day. So I can now close the view management since I'm satisfied with this sun's position. I will click here and we can now open again the visual settings. And now we have to be careful because we don't want to change the noon preset. So we can create a new one here in this bottom above. And now I'll call this sunset. So this is a visual preset that I would like to be applied in the view sunset. And you can notice that when we create this new preset, it actually brought back the original parameters which are not so bad, but I will make some further adjustments. We could change the style to white and make the adjustments here with this material override mode. But for now, I will just leave it as none. So here, what I would suggest to do would be to explore the image tab and toggle the color temperature. I will decrease a little bit this value so that the whole image gets a little bit warmer which is something that happens during sunset. And to produce a more dramatic effect, maybe it would be interesting to increase the bloom so that the image gets a little bit fuzzier with some glare, okay? And maybe another parameter we could change would be here in atmosphere, in shadow sharpness. We could reduce this value so that the shadows are even more softer and now the image is getting quite interesting and it's important to notice that the area light that i used in the previous simulation is also affecting this image you can take a look at the shadows that are being produced here so they are a direct result of this lights that we've placed before so i will leave this kind of area light in this simulation as well and before producing the final image one mistake that i've just noticed is that the background of this simulation is different from the previous one, which makes no sense. So I have to remember to click here in sky and choose the same background as I did before, which was the forest background. And also I have to choose the same rotation angle so that it matches the known simulation, which was something around this value here. And another important step before rendering would be to organize the views. So if I open again my view management, we have here two views that we saved, one called noon with the noon simulation and the noon visual preset and the one we've just created called sunset. And here it's important to check if this sunset view is linked with the sunset visual preset we've just configured. So I'll click here this button and now we can link this view to the sunset visual preset. I can save now. So now if we choose any of these views, it will load the correct view with the correct angle and light position linked to the noon visual preset. And if I choose sunset, I can see that it will load another sun's position, but with the same angle. And now it is also loading the sunset visual preset with the changes that I've just made. And finally, we can generate the second simulation. I would suggest to check here the output and I guess full HD, it's okay. And it's important also to check the rendering quality. Choose the last option here because it will produce the best rendering output. And finally, we can click here in this button up here. I will save it as a JPEG and I will name it sunset render test and just after a few seconds we have our second simulation 
different from the one before since now the intention was to produce a sunset image.